Hello guys. Yes, uh, today I want to show to you um, something about this Commodore 1541 disk drive. And as you can see, it's uh, I op open it already, and um, I change in this machine this voltage regulators here. These are the old voltage regulators. This is a 7812, and the other one is a 7805 for the 5 volt rail. And in, in a recent video, I showed to you um, about uh, my self developed and self uh, manufactured uh, voltage regulators. Uh, I uh, make this PCB uh, on the computer with SkyCat in order the PCBs from uh, from China uh, from the company uh, JLC PCB and um, as you can see it's a really nice looking uh, voltage regulator switching switch mode voltage regulator it's really cool uh, it supports 3 amps continuous uh, current and yes in this machine now I changed the 12 volt voltage regulator and the 5 volt voltage regulator. I already changed it, so I don't need to show to you how I uh, change it. But uh, what I want to do now is to check it if this is working and uh, to see uh, how this um, this uh, voltages uh, are when I uh, powered it on. So let's see what will happen when I plug it in. So, um, hello guys again. As you can see, I uh, make uh, the setup here. Here is uh, 5041 um, disk drive. I don't uh, put the cover on it because I want to measure the voltages on this uh, regulators and after uh, on my oscilloscope, I want to show to you how um, how the ripple and so on is. Uh, but uh, for the moment, I didn't uh, turn it on. So um, actually, I don't know what will happen when I turn this machine on. On the right side, I have here my uh, Commodore 64. We want to try if uh, if the voltages are uh, here okay. Uh, I I want to see if I can access with the, with the Commodore on, on this uh, disk drive here. So, fingers crossed guys, because this is the first time and you are live, uh, you will see live what will happen, so. Okay, so. And here we are. So the LED is is on. Nothing smokes. So why not? Let's check the voltages. First, I want to check the five volt rail here. Ah, I forget something. I have a coating on this uh, voltage regulator. Let's uh, see. But I know this uh, voltage regulator is working, so no, no worries about this. But what I didn't know is this 12 volt rail, and I have no, no uh, actual coating on it. So let's see what is the voltage here on the output rail. So 12 volts. Nice. As you can see, oh, maybe you didn't see it. Um, I can uh, do it again, but yes, believe me, uh, it shows 12 volts, very good. And now uh, let's see how the output ripple is. I have here my special probe with a, a short uh, ground loop. And I want to pick up uh, on uh, this capacitors here on the output capacitors, um, the 
yes the ripple but to do this I have to set up here my oscilloscope and one second mm, yes here's my oscilloscope and I have to set it up on alternating current coupling measure and I will go down with the voltage per division until let's say yeah, 20 millivolts per division and now I can uh, pick up the voltage on the on this outlet capacitor and let's see what we have here on the oscilloscope. I have here peak to peak 140 millivolts. Yes, a little bit high, but that's uh, that's not a problem. Let me check with this oscilloscope also the voltage. Five volt per division. Okay, we have twelve point two volts. It's okay. So now let's uh, turn my uh, sixty four Commodore sixty four, and you see this machine gives a feedback. That's a good sign. And also, I have a good uh, picture here. So what can we do is, I don't have a disc at the moment, so sorry for this, but uh, we can try if uh, when I put a uh, Lord and then enter. Okay, so that's not working because <laughs> I have to uh, for a disk drive I have a uh, different commands but that's not a problem for the moment the disk drive with my voltage regulators here working perfect as you can see so what I do now is to close this machine and yes get rid of this old one old uh, obsolete uh, voltage regulators so um, by the way I don't show to you how I uh, remove the old one and put the new one and solder the new uh, voltage regulators because everybody knows how it works and this video I want to show to you only this uh, yes this uh, new voltage regulators here thank you for watching guys and see you next time okay uh, one thing uh, one thing i have to i forget to mention um this voltage regulators here switch mode voltage regulators uh, does not need any heat sink normally because um they don't uh, get hot in any way so pff, you don't need any uh, no worries about the, about the heat so you can touch it and uh, everything will be running uh, really cool okay that's that was it i thank you for watching again